wasn't there either. Um, what we said is that this has probably got to go, right? But there's no way that thing was up there that we could use that and we can't use that as a main tree anyway. So probably that's got to go. And then there's a chance maybe of building up through this one here as an apex there, an apex here, and then this. I mean, the other alternative, you see, is to take this off as well. Yeah? I mean, you're going to get a stronger, bigger, bollocking tree with that there than you use as a tree in this knot. But, I mean, if you like this, I would appreciate that. And I think it's a nice size, and you've got this back on it. Um, so, I mean, it's stunning back here. Look at this in the end. It's incredible. On which side you use as a, as a front may depend. What we said was with this curve around here, it's a nice Navari. And that's very pleasant as well because eventually this will go or be tied in. So you've still got this good flare at the bottom, whichever way you look at it. Um, that's good for me to weigh in here, isn't it? You know, you've got great back to here, great back to here, 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 it's just perfect. Um, good back all the way up to here. Again, you know, to make, to make, you know, bite the bullet and get rid of all these, you know, and only keep the one thing out of one area. It's nice to be able to set the branches. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, someone else have a shout? I'll go and see who's coming. Select the one. This has got to come out. Yeah. We reduce the top a bit, take all this off up there. This can come down, which is growing upwards. Look. I would wire it, see, I'd start wiring it, and then as you start shaping it, I know it's early days for you yet, really. as you start shaping it, you start cutting things up, you know, you don't want them. As you start shaping it and wire it, just being dug, see, so you can't do too much to it, really. I, mean, what you I would just selectively branch prune it, yeah. see which ones you so, want to keep. Yeah. I mean, the so more branches you take, take off, off, the, the better, better chance you've got of the yeah. plants at all. So if you decide that that's going to be your first one there, right? Those have got to come off. Right? And then have a good look at it. You're going to keep that one into the image. You're going to keep this one up here. And then start selectively going inside there and take that out. Do something about the top. Something about that. Decide on which is going to be your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven branches, and around the back, and the same with that. I mean, which is what it's going to be. It's going to be an upright tree. Yeah. Yeah. So that no matter which way it's leading or inclining, all branches will be horizontal to that, mm. or just below horizontal. Yeah. And you know, it's not going to be an aesthetic piece. It's going to be an upright piece. So you know, it's pretty straightforward if that's the way you're going to go. What you should do. I'd have it off there, and there, and that would be your apex, that little bit there. Nice. Yes. Then this here comes down, so you've got one level, two levels, I'd lose the big one there, and then have a third level there. Yeah, and you're getting rid of that big bulb. Yeah. And then it, it's nice and delicate and flowing and then contrasting with that. This is the apex here. <coughs> yeah. This one? So it oh, moves look, it across if there. If look here, this area here, right, is bulbous up here. And with all this good movement going through here, it tends to stop you. So what um, Lewis is saying is that this is the apex, and so you take this off. Yeah. And then you, you increase your tape wonderfully through this area, yeah? And it gets rid of this problem up here, which, which with, with, with big leaf growth on it, isn't visually a problem. But if you're thinking of a winter image, he's got, he's got a very, very good shelf there. Very good shelf. Oh, see this big bowl? Yeah. Yeah? What you'd be doing is using this oh, yeah, as your you apex. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting yeah. rid of that. So that's a, that's a good shelf. Yeah. I mean, whether you do that or not, it's, it's pointed it out, and, and it's, it's very well pointed out. So. Yeah, it's a big cut there, isn't it? Is yeah, it, that, that, that works all way. out and pass over re relatively quickly. Okay. Certainly within the time that you've grown the tree to what you want, you can pass it over. 
Because you, you, you're cutting the front off and you're cutting the top off as well. So, what I'm thinking about is it, is it surviving after that? Because that, that's two really big cuts in the same place. The tunnel, using this and you yeah, there. yeah, and taking the top off it. So you, so you put it like that. The only trouble with that is the line there. You know, you're not coming back. You're not coming back, but you could be from the zone where you want to come back and not bore away from it. Yeah, I mean, Lewis is not saying to do it, but he's saying that what he spots is his yeah. build. Yeah, well, that could be worked on. Yeah. I mean, that could be worked on and that could be carved, you know? Yeah. You can get rid of that bulb and see that. I prefer to make that one, fix that one there. Yeah. So it's coming back over, you know? Yeah. And then you get to the yeah. That's good, 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 yeah. Yeah. See, you've given it that S shape, but, you know, but instead of going that away. Yeah. And then you can work on this for us, and you can work on them for us. Work on my yeah. <laughs> you take, you take the back, I'll be branching as well. Come on. But uh, you haven't looked at yourself, yeah. You can study it because you're free. Yeah. Um, what Colin, I think, is going to prefer is not to follow this line through and use this as an apex, but to use this branch as an apex, following the taper of the tree, so it's coming back, coming back on itself, and use this, and get rid of this big bulbous lump on the back, work on this lump here, and uh, try and do some tapering in there, see, and the same with that. Use one of these as a little branch, get rid of this conglomeration of branches down there and selectively prune inside there. Decide on which branches, don't do any wiring or, or bending at all. Once it's been pruned, leave it for a whole year. So that's, that's the idea.